I didn't feel torture there, but um, the life, the life itself there is brutish. So it's even worse than torture because uh, the food. Your dog will not eat the, that food. Hmm. It's so bad. Like I didn't eat the food there because the first 48 hours I spent there, I had to fast because um, nobody visited me. There was no arrangement for feeding from outside and I could not eat what was obtainable there. So I had to fast. I was picked from Kadun, uh, from Port Harcourt on order of the state government and not uh, the chairman of Kajuru. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a petition written by one Aisha Tudiko, the Lega aide. She's the current commissioner of justice. So then she was the Lega um, aide to the governor. She yeah. wrote the petition on behalf of the governor. You know. Yeah. Now it was on that petition that I was uh, abducted from Port Harcourt to Kaduna. I spent five days in the police detention facility, then I was granted bail on that petition. Now, while I was being investigated by the police, I was told, in fact, they showed me a copy of the petition written by Kafra Akainu. Hmm. So, when I was granted bail, sir, it's like they were waiting, because the magistrate knew, maybe he knew that uh, something like this would happen, so he said in the bail condition, on no account should I be arrested or detained until the next adjournment. Only for me to return back to Portacot to resume work and then um, they, they started calling me that I should come. They want to see me. The police, they started harassing my shorty. And the police had no business with my shorty. The shorty shorted me at the court, not the police station. So I went, as a law-abiding citizen, I went only to be rearrested and they showed me the Kafra's petition that this is why you you have been arrested. And that was what kept me for 162 days. So what they do is, um, whenever there's a case of uh, sodomy, they, they administer punishment. And what's that punishment? They'll just carry you from the cell where you are to another cell. There's nothing special about that punishment. Just to keep you there for some time, they release you. You know, there's nobody to counsel you. So you see the same set of people that were punished before coming back to do the same thing over and over again. The, the inmates are idle. Like, they don't do anything. So, uh, had even there's a system in place to engage this inmate, like let them have something doing, maybe skills, or there's a factory or a mini factory for them to do something. Of course, they won't have time to be doing this, um, this, this thing they're doing, but because there's nothing. So you wake up in the morning, Sometimes they open you, you go out and walk around the premises. That's all. So, and because most of them have been there for quite a number of times, so they indulge in these um, activities. In fact, even as a visitor, the way they will search you, not even a needle will be left on you. So, but when you go into the prison, you see all manner of drugs. Indian hem, um, Tramador, Exol, name them. So the only way these drugs can find their way into the prison yard must be through the authorities. I'm not saying it's official, but there are some bad eggs, you know, that engage in this trafficking. There's also another, though this didn't happen while I was in the prison, but I also heard that there's an arrangement 
I heard that in Kaduna prison. Some inmates told me there's an arrangement you could make, and um, with the prison authority, sir, and you could be released without the consent of the court. Even though his court has jailed you, like sentenced you to maybe five years in, in imprisonment. Yeah. No, let, let me let me rephrase that question again. If okay. court jails someone, it is yeah. possible for that person not to serve the jail term because he can arrange with the prison officials. Very possible. Very possible. An inmate told me this. And when I saw um, a Fisayos report where he talked about some people pay money and their record will be erased on the the prison database. I knew then this is, is it, it, it could be true because the prison don't even have a database for your information. They are still using paper and biro, sir. So if there's a fire incident, everything will be destroyed. The major problem is that there's a disconnect between the top hierarchy of the prison service and the various um, prison or custodial centers, they call it now. Because there's no check and balancer. Nobody comes from Abuja to Kaduna, for instance, to check what is happening. At least I stayed there for 162 days. I never saw the controller general coming. I never saw any top official from Abuja coming. Even the state controller who controls the prison in Kaduna State, I don't know, maybe, I think there was a day he came, I, I, I was, uh, I'm aware, but I don't think he visited more than five times for in 162 days. Mind you, his job is to check the prisons within the state. So, it now gives the officers room to do whatever they want to do, because nobody is checking. Then, the Ministry of Interior has to do more, because... Let's talk about feeding. We didn't talk much about it. <laughs> what I saw, them giving the prisoners, sir, like they are waiting trial persons, which constitute about 55% uh, of the total uh, population in Kaduna, because the, the capacity is 547, the standard, the maximum capacity. But as of the day I left, we had 1,470-something inmates. So that's almost that's almost double and uh, triple the, almost the number. Triple. Yes, yes, the number. Yes, you get. Now, the food I saw them giving this prisoner, sir. A prisoner doesn't feed on more than ninety-five naira per day. Based on, your, be, be, based on your estimation. Based on what I saw. Based on what you saw, but the the, but the Nigerian government. Said the the prisoners spent over well over that thousands of them. Yes. Prisoners yes. In fact, um, when I saw um, the 2018 budget yes. and I saw the defense of the controller general, mm -hmm. now they, they said we had about 75,000 inmates across the country, yes. and 17 billion or so was budgeted for feeding. If you do the mathematics, each prisoner should be fed with about 500 and something naira daily. Mm -hmm. You get. Yes. But what I saw. In fact, 95 naira is too much because the food is so small and poorly cooked. For the first time in my life, I saw where they cook soup. You know, they just carry water, pour inside buckets, pour small red oil, pour okra or leaf or something. No maggi, no pepper. It's not even cooked. They go and give people to eat. Human beings. Mm. Human beings. So, it's so bad. So, if they could be checked, like the Ministry of Interior, have to do more. It's not about sitting in Abuja. They have to. If they can't do it, let them contract it out. Like, get external bodies that will ensure these checks. Because you and I know you can't even visit the prison to check some of these things. Sir. So you can only get information for who has been in the system. And how many prisoners are ready to tell you what happened there? You get. So it's a place where you can't even know the corruption happening. Except you 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 enter there and see for yourself well in fact um where there's no um a freedom for journalists to do their job or critics to criticize the government i'm telling you sir the masses will be in for a long time because there is, is doom it spells doom for us when i saw the the bill it said it passed um first reading i was like wow this is terrible because 
while in prison, I saw hardened criminals, some even kidnappers, being released. <laughs> you know, so and um, uh, hate speech um, makers will now be stand the chance of um, being executed. So it doesn't make sense. It means the aim here is not to curb hate speech. No, it's just to put fear on people so that you don't talk again. Because how do you even define hate speech? They are the ones that will define it for us, not us. They are the ones that will sit down and say, okay, this is hate speech. And look at the antecedent of the people we have in power. Their utterances are terrible. You get. So the whole thing, there's no sincerity in it, and um, I'm against that bill. That bill is evil. <laughs>